Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up our free global preset style guide for Divi's freelancer layout pack. This is the result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so to download global preset style guide, you need to head over to this blog post, which I will link to in the show notes below. All right, so I'm here. So the next stage is to come over here and download it. So I'm going to click here on get it for free at my email address. And then I want to click here on download. Then next, I'm going to click on download the files. And here they are on my downloads folder. So what I'm going to do next is to navigate to it here so I can find it in my finder. And now I can double click it to open this folder and I want to double click again so that I can access this specific file because this is the file that has my style guide. Okay, so now that I've done that, the next step now is to go over here to my website. I'm going to click here on dashboard and go all the way down here to the bottom. Click on Divi library and then I need to import it. So I'm going to click here on import and export. Click here on import and now that file that I opened a few moments ago, I can just drag it over here like that. Now you notice that we have this option which says import presets. So what's going to happen now is if I select this, it will import all the presets um, that are on this design. So I'm going to go ahead and click import presets, click on uh, import Divi Builder layouts. Now this is going to be added onto my library. Okay, so my style guide has been imported and here it is. The next step now is to head over here and create a brand new page. So I'm going to click here on add new. I'm going to add my page in here. Use Divi Builder. So next we're going to choose a pre-made layout. And the layout that we're going to look for is for the freelance writer. Now, here's the thing. This style guide is for the freelance writer layout pack. So you cannot just use this on, uh, in fact, you can use it on any layout, but there's going to be a lot of work going in and changing these colors and so on. But this works specifically very well for the freelance writer layout pack. So this is why I've come over here so I could choose the freelancer layout pack. So we have a few pages here to, uh, to work with. So basically you could choose whatever page you want to add on your website. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to use the, um, the home page. So I'm going to click on use this layout. Okay, so here we go. We have uh, this layout now. So let's say I need to add more information on my website. This is how I would do it. So let's add a new regular section. So let's say I need to add a few elements here. So uh, what I would do is let's say it's a button. So I can just search for my button module here. So because this is a style guide, they all have been added here by uh, default. All the presets have been added. So if I click here on this drop down, you're going to notice now that we have this FWLP button one, button two, button three, button four. So all these buttons here are just different styles. So I can select this one here and you can see it has been added. But uh, if I need to further customize this, then I can uh, come over here to design, go to the button here. And as you can see, the use custom styles for button is already activated. So this is where if I need to change the colors, by the way, I can just come over here. Now I've changed it to black. And pretty much that's all you need to do. And let's say you really want to uh, save this as a new preset. You can click down on this. You can click here on this drop down and then you can create a new preset from current styles. OK, so that's where you would do it. But for now, I'm just going to leave that. Now, let me give you another example. Let's delete this. So let's say you want to add some text. So let's go and add our text module. So initially, it will just come in by default as this pop-ins. But if you click here on this drop down, look at all these presets that we have. So we have preset one, we have preset two, and all these presets here we can actually use. Okay. And also it specifies what text it is. So you notice that if I go to uh, H1, it won't work because this is paragraph text. Uh, but if I come over here to text all, this will work. Or if I come to body, that will work too. Okay, so let's put this to uh, practice. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to add another text module. But this time, I'm going to add it as a heading. Okay, 
So I'm just going to get rid of some of this text here. And then I'm just going to highlight this and set this to heading one. So now you can see that this is my heading. If I come to this drop down now, you can see my styles here. So this is your heading one. So if I select that, you notice that this automatically changes to my style for the heading. But of course, we can go in and customize our styles by just clicking here on design heading text. And now if the size is way too big, we can reduce it like that. And we can make this a new style if we need to. So basically what this style guide is doing is it is uh, giving us all the design elements that we need in order for us to design our page and make it look very consistent with this actual layout pack. So it just has all the things that we need in order for us to have a beautiful layout.